Hello you guys, we are going to be doing a fun little spread today that Rochelle at Amethyst Ascension came up with along with Courtney from Aries Witchcraft. I will tag both of their comments below. Um, it's a, an alien invasion. Would you survive the um, alien invasion? Specifically, which alien race we're talking about are the tall Nordics, which to be honest, I am not that familiar with. So um, I really don't have any biases on that. Like I've heard of them, but it's not a race that I really spent a lot of time looking into. So anyway, I loved Rochelle's and I loved the decks that she used. I was like trying to think of a deck. So the closest thing I could think of to this, I do have the Syrian Starseed Tarot. Um, so that's what we're going to work with. I do think this is out of print. It's an older deck from I think the 2000s or the 90s. It's a great big, huge, giant of a deck. So um, let's do a couple shuffles. There's um, seven questions that we're going to be looking into. And um, the first one is, what would my strength be during this invasion? Second being, what would my um, weakness be? Third, are the tall Nordics an ancient elven race or the ancient elven race? Number four, how long have they been here? Number five, friend or foe of humanity. Number six, how do they feel about humanity? Number seven, what are my chances of survival? So I thought Rachel's was so spot on. Um, trying to give this a good shuffle. I don't work with this deck a whole lot because it's so huge. I do love that card, though, the star. I did just get my nails done. Look how cute. Oh, and also shout out to Rochelle. Look at this super cute ring right here. Um, I had commented on one of her videos. I loved her evil eye ring. And the next thing I knew, I had one in my mailbox. So thank you so much, honeys. I love it. And it's like adjustable. So you can, you know, pretty much fit it on any finger, however high up you want. So, so cute. Thank you. I love yous. And that's, um, again, Rochelle from Amethyst Ascension. I will have her channel and her original video to this. I looked at Courtney's channel. I didn't see that she had done one yet. So I know she did help create the tag with Rochelle, but I haven't seen hers out yet. So number one, um, during this alien invasion of the tall whites, what will my strengths be? What will my strengths be in this alien invasion? And then I just loosened that up so it's not sticking on. Let's look at how cute my nails are too. I did just get them done. Aren't they just so cute? What would my strengths be in an alien invasion? Do, do, do. And all oh, my rings are falling off. Why are they all in reverse, man? Okay. So, seven of cups reverse, five of orbs, which in this deck is the swords, and the nine of crystals, which would be the nine of pentacles. Okay. So, how would this be a strength? Well, seven of cups is all about needing to make a lot, needing to make a choice. And um, I don't think I would have to delay on this at all because I... Um, even though I'm not as familiar with the tall Nordics as I am, maybe some of the other races in general, I do believe that there are, um, other life forms out there. Um, I also believe that the government is going to fake an alien invasion, uh, with an, with a race that's not, um, one of those, but that's a whole separate video. But anyway, versus somebody that doesn't believe in this at all, they're going to have to sit and like, think about it and, have to consider what their options are and what they're going to do where you, when you're already kind of ready for this, um, I'm not going to have to sit and think about it. I'm already going to know what I'm going to do. Um, and I actually view fives in when, when a five is in reverse for me, I actually view that as a little bit better because for me, five energy is stuck. So five of swords, I mean, it is kind of a lose, lose situation. And I think that that makes sense, whether it's upright or reverse, but um, for me in general, fives in reverse are when we're almost to a six again. We're getting a little bit of movement. We're not quite moving out of it yet. Um, but when a five's upright to me, we're completely stuck. So a five to me in reverse is like we're, we're the worst part of it's over. Okay. So yeah, five of swords here. I mean, the, and if you look at the imagery we're working with, 
he it does seem to be kind of juggling a couple of things here. Um, it seems to me a little bit more kind of like it's giving Seven of Cups um, energy. But because we're working with a deck I don't wouldn't normally use, I am going to actually just go ahead and use the guidebook just because there might be some insightful stuff here. So Five of Orbs here. An unsavory character, a juggler, just barely balances himself on the edge of a rock and at the end of the sea. He is faceless, denoting a void within him, and his inner garment is the black of ignorance. Slouched in a posture of stealth, he juggles three orbs while two others have crashed down and splintered beneath him. The subtle background of the lights on the opposite shore suggests that he has taken orbs and left humankind behind, isolating himself in the egocentric world. Alone on the rocks, he still performs his ritual, not even noticing that the two of that two of his orbs are broken on the earthy ground. How are you juggling things in your mind and yet deluding yourself of the bigger picture? What victory do you believe you have achieved through your less noble thoughts? And how have they isolated you? How do you limit yourself and create separation through your ego-centered thought processes? What opportunities are lost when you do intellectual battle with others? Convinced of your superiority. Have you sacrificed your integrity in order to win? I'm not sure how I would look at that as a... Um, as a strength, <laughs> maybe because, and maybe this feeds into the number seven question, which is survival, is that I would do what I have to do to take care of my family. Um, it might become a dog eat dog world out there. For the most part, I mean, I've already done, I'm a, I'm a prepper. I have been, I stay prepped. Um, so I don't really think I have to get out there and pillage, but I guess if I had to, to feed my kids or my grandbabies, I mean, you're going to do what you have to do, right? Um, nine of crystals, which is typically like nine of pentacles, which is like, um, I think that that kind of denotes that I, I have a lot when it comes to this. Um, I have pretty much what I need. I wouldn't need to leave the house. I'm not going to need to go out there and, um, be a part of the shit show basically because I have done the work beforehand um, so I guess that's kind of how I would look at my strengths is that I have a nice stockpile, right? Um, let's see. Number two, what would my weaknesses be in the case of an alien invasion? What would my, let's move these out of the way. What would my weaknesses be reflection in reverse which looks like the hermit and I would expect some reverse cards here because we're asking for um, weaknesses so reflection reverse solar deity reverse I'm not sure if that's a bonus card or if that's the sun oh it's the sun the Sun Reverse and the Ace of Cups. So my weaknesses are going to be um, that I might have to, I mean, because I love the Hermit energy. So I guess the Hermit Reverse, I'm, I'm probably already living that, which is I might be too, a little bit too isolated, a little too paranoid. Um, <laughs> but that, I don't know how that's a weakness in this, in this scenario. Um, it could be that because I already kind of live here, if and when it ever happens, I'm literally not going to believe it because I already think the government's going to fake an alien invasion. So if there ever is a real one, I'm going to be kind of like, eh, whatever. Like, I already live in that energy all the time, basically. Um, the sun reverse, I, and again, we're looking at this as what, 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 what would my weaknesses be? I'm a little bit jaded already when it comes to this type of stuff. Um, so... And then we've got Ace of Cups. I don't know how that sit, fits into this situation as a weakness. Um, maybe to go back up to like if I did have to get out in the world and try to pillage, that would be hard to do when um, generally I do care about people. I don't like to be around a lot of people. I do prefer to be home, but I wouldn't ever want to hurt anybody. And I do feel like I have a big heart. And so that might be considered weakness in this situation. 
Um, let's go to number three, which is, are the tall Nordics the ancient elven race? Are the tall Nordics the ancient elven race? Nine of wands reverse. All, are the tall Nordics the ancient elven race? Master of Flames, which is the King of Wands Reverse. And the Seeker of Orbs, which is the Page of Swords Reverse. So in my reading, I would view that as a no. It's not the Ancient Elven Race. Although, again, this isn't a race that I have really studied. That ring is not wanting to stand, so I'm going to take it off. It's not a race. I, I'm more familiar with, like, the Blue Avians and the Lyrans and the Arcturians, the Pleiadians. Um, so the tall Nordics, I, I have no idea. So I don't really have like a preference one way or another. When I watched Rochelle's, hers definitely said yes. And it made a lot of sense. But for me, I would definitely read that as a no, um, that they're not. And, um, it was funny because I think that she got the Empress and then she got a card that like kind of represented hybrids, but for me, just all cards in reverse is a no. I guess we could do like a bonus question and be like, who are they then? Who are the, where do they come from? Where do the ancient, or not the ancient, where do the tall Nordics come from? I don't, I really, I don't even know if I know enough about that question to ask it. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to say no on that. Um, but it's not my preference because, again, I'm not really, I'm, I really don't have a opinion one way or another. Um, number four, how long have they been here? Are they here? How long have they been here? Are the tall Nordics here on Earth? And if so, how long have they been here? The moon reverse, nine of orbs upright, seeker of crystals upright. So that to me would be a yes, they have. Um, the moon reverse is kind of making me think that maybe they've been here even before the moon was here. If you are in certain um, circles of theories and um, such, you are maybe familiar that there are some theories out there that the moon is a satellite and was brought in. There are a lot of ancient cultures that actually have a lot of stories about when the moon came and Native American cultures, like it hasn't always been here. So to me, the moon in reverse kind of tells me that it, they were here before the moon. Um, nine of orbs and a seeker of, um, so a nine being, you know, a pretty high number, right? The only higher number is a 10. I feel like that's for a long time, but then it's like kind of con contradicting with seeker, Seeker is the same thing as a page in this. And actually in tarot, you can use the court cards for timing. Page cards are days, nights are weeks, queens are months, and kings are years. So when Rochelle did hers, I believe she did get a king. And I remember thinking to myself, yeah, that makes sense because a king would be a long time. It's the longest time. But here, conversely, I'm getting Seeker, which is a page. But I just want to double check the guidebook and make sure that I have it correct, because it could be a knight. But still, either the page or the knight, to me, would still be considered um, on the uh, newer side of things, right? Then you could look at the nine, like, nine years since 2019. Like, I don't know, you know, there's all, there's so many ways that could go. So the Seekers are the Pages, yep. So that would be the Page of Swords. So obviously if they were here from before the moon, that would be a long time. But maybe in the scheme of like alien races, they're, they're younger compared to other races that might be here or interacting with the planet. I guess that's the way that I'm going to look at that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not nine of swords, not necessarily looking at the meanings of the cards. I'm more of just looking at as a yes and trying to determine a timeline. 
Um, so that's what I'm going with. Okay, what do we have next? Are they friend or foe of humanity? Are the tall Nordics friend or foe of humanity? Three of wands, eight of swords reverse, two of wands. Definitely friends. Um, I wouldn't say like there's not a whole lot of emotion coming in here. Eight of eight of swords reverse or eight of orbs reverse makes me feel like they're here to help free us because I view the eight of swords as kind of an imprisonment. Um, so they are definitely here to help us. So that says friends to me, two cards upright is a positive versus two cards in reverse would be a negative. So that's how else I say that we're friends. And also twos are always about partnership, right? And like building. And then also threes like, are about you know the future three of wands is all about like helping us to step into our future so um i definitely would view that as friend let's go with how do they feel about humanity how do the tall nordics feel about humanity four of crystals or four of pentacles reverse we are greedy that is true eight of cups reverse and the three of swords. Damn, they're pretty disappointed in us. They don't want to have to leave us, but they can't do it for us. They can't, um, you know, they can help guide us, but they can't actually step in and intervene. That's why I get kind of on the fence whether there will actually be what we would consider an invasion. Because just the word itself, invasion, makes you think like an attack, right? But if they've been here all along... They don't need to invade us, but they're trying to help guide us, but they can't do it for us. And it doesn't look good <laughs> because to have the three of swords in the future position, for me, the third card's the future position. Um, they're, they're pretty disappointed in us and they don't have a whole lot of hope left. I don't even know what I was going to pull next, but I did just pull the two of cups. So they do, they want to still help us. So if anybody is into channeling or, um, trying to work with these beings maybe they can get some messages and finally number seven what are my chances of surviving such an invasion the lovers again my relationship with my husband eight of crystals and abundance which is the third card so the empress basically i'd say my chances are amazing two major arcana cards i mean eight of pentacle or eight of crystals i've put the work in i've i've you know i'm pretty much ready to survive any type of catastrophe um to be honest but obviously abundance not only do i think i would survive i think that i would thrive um definitely i was brought here with my partner my twin flame to be part of the ascension now do i believe that the tall uh tall nordics are part of this ascension again i don't really know because i haven't really looked into that specific race that much but it seems to be part of my destiny in some way to receive these two cards so that's my little interpretation of this spread. Thanks, Rochelle and Courtney, for coming up with it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will, again, link their channels and the original video in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.